Oh, I guess we're live. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. We have Deb S., the Pug Mama Quilter, here today. I put the link in the chat if anybody would like to join. You can come on up. Uh, we have a new member, Melissa's Sewing Creation, so I'm going to play a video for her. And then I will say hi to everyone. All right. Okay, I'm going to start at the beginning and say hi to everyone. Hi, Vintage Style by JoJo. Hi, Donnell Stitchery. Hi, Carrie Leonard. Hi, Baked with Miss Red. Hi, Donna Dixon. Woohoo! Going to sew binding strips and bind my quilt. Yay! I found a backing to one of mine. I guess who, Nancy? Hi, Homestead in the Wood with D. She has a channel. If you haven't checked out her channel, I would. It's a good channel. Hi, Carrie Leonard. She has a channel. She sews. She's learning how to sew, making dog blankets. Let's see. Hi, Glenda Hyde. How are you? Whoops, going the wrong way. Hi, Rita. How are you? Come on up. Show us what's going on in your shop. Charlotte Villa's here. Deb the Pug Mama Quilter's here. She has a channel. <laughs> Everyone saying hi to everyone. Hi, Sharon J. How are you? Hi, Lorraine Young. Hi, Guess Who Nancy. Hi, Sharon and Jackson. Hi, Mary Webb. Hi, Sharon J. Hi, Quilting Compound. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Andrea Jomaine. Hi, Candace. How are you? Hi, Donnell. Donnell Stitchery has a new channel. Check her out. Hi, Reza M. Hi, Katie. Katie's Crafts. Hi, Carol Rushaw. My voice is high pitched today. It's giving me a headache. <laughs> Don L says she's going to be lurking a while. Everyone's saying hi. Let's see. Katie finished her taxes this morning. Well, that's good. Let's see. She's working while she's watching. Vintage Style by Joe wants to know if I'm, how I'm feeling. I'm not feeling bad. I still have the ear thing, but I got to make an appointment. Hi, Jim. How are you? I think I'm all caught up. Okay. I found a backing for my quilt for this one. I don't know if anybody remembered this one. I, uh, it's just a bunch of squares that I sewed together. Well, anyways, let me fold it. I've been going through my Porter room upstairs and my staff sorting what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to get rid of, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I found this um, fabric here and there's a lot of yardage. So that's going to be the backing. It's like little tulips or some kind of flower. 
So that's going to be the backing. And it's all wrinkled because when I bought it all at the thrift store, I washed everything. So that's got to be ironed. That will be the back of this quilt. And it looks, it matches pretty well. You know, it has the purple and the green. So that's that. I'm trying to get rid of quilting stuff in here because I'm ready to move back to bags. All right, I got a bunch of stuff from So Yeah. This is the pattern I bought. It's um, Sewing Patterns by Mrs. H. I've never heard of it. Oh, and she bought her hardware from Emmeline Bags. Never heard of it, but this is the Dainty Day Tripper. So that's one of the ones I'm going to make. And... I'll go over the hardware I bought first and go from there. Oops, we got more people coming in. All right, where was I? In hot, is it Haynes or Hines? Hello. <laughs> And she's saying hi to everyone. Mona, Andrea wants to know if you can turn on the closed captions. It is on. I, it's on my computer screen. Thanks, uh, Jim. I thought it would look nice on the back. Yeah, I turned it on, but let me double check. It was just on mine a minute ago. Oops, now I lost everything. I don't know what's going on. Thank you. All right, let me get into there and here. Let me see if I can get in there. I don't know if I can get in there when it's live. Hmm. Well, I don't know where it is. Is today the 15th? Mm, yep. All right. Well, that's the one. So let me see if I can move it over or... Whoops, that ain't it. <clears throat> what? Did I do something? And Jim says it's all day. What's all day? Oh, the, the 15th. 15th. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nora's here. Hi, Nora. Nora, the, the stock explorer. Yep. Well, I cannot. Oh, there we go. Can't use low latency in that, so I'll turn it to normal. All right, it should be on. Now let me go back to where I was, which which I don't know where I was, but. Are you working? Okay, I'm back, I think. There. Okay, uh, uh, Andrea, I turned it on. So Nancy, guess who Nancy says she loves the colors pretty? Yeah, it's a pretty little tulip. So I was going to make a bag out of it. And I thought, well, I don't want to make... Hi, Gladys, how are you? Gladys has a channel. 
check her out. She goes live Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know if she's Eastern Standard Time. Hi, Kathy's Quilts and Crafts. If anybody wants to drop their link, you can type S-E-W or B-A-G-S in the chat, and it will drop your link for you. Guess who, Nancy? Is it on now? Andrea says that she's going to go out and come back in to see if it refreshes. Hi, Nora, the Stock Explorer. She has a channel. Check her out. She gives stock advice, and she does a little gardening, and she loves them scratch-off tickets. <laughs> oh, she's got to go do her taxes. Yeah, I took my mom. When was the last day that you could do it? Was it Friday or Monday? I I don't know. Not, not today. So it must have been Friday. I took her at 10 in the morning to do it. All right, let's see. Everyone's saying hi and bye. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind holding up the show. It's not like I'm doing much today. <laughs> Except giving myself a headache. <laughs> hi, Karen Evans. <clears throat> Yeah, Nora says, we scratch tickets. Yes, she does. Yes, they do. Oh, tax day is today. You have until midnight. So it must have been Friday I took her. Because it wasn't planned on my schedule. They said the closed captioning is still not working. Well, it just came up on my computer, so it may take a minute. I might have to go out and back it. Well, it just came up on mine and then left again. So it's on my YouTube. Yeah, it's on the YouTube because even the commercials are on. So, But if you're watching through StreamYard, I don't think it's on. But I don't know how you would watch it through StreamYard. So. Let's see if it. April 30th is the last day for taxes. Maybe in Canada, but in uh, the U.S. it's the 15th. Okay, I'm going to go over my So Yeah haul. I got these zippers here from, from them, and this is So Hungry Hippie. Uh, I didn't notice, you know, anything, you know, different than any other zippers, but I do like those pulls. They're like a rainbow pull. And I thought it was a little pricey, but I needed this color, and I was already shopping, so I said, why not just have them throw it in the bin? And... And I got this little bin from the Dollar Tree, so I threw the rest of this hardware in until I have a chance to. And then I got this color zipper. And I don't know. Oh. With the rose gold pools, which they're just regular pools. Nothing to write home about. And then I got quarter inch. Maybe if I move this back out of the way. Okay, Andrea, sorry. It says it's on, so I don't know what happened. Maybe I forgot to hit save, but I will make sure it's on next time. That's the gold. Um, I do like their snaps. They look kind of beefy but flat, so I would buy those again. And here's the, what do you call it, hardware. It's... Uh, one and a half inch, which I needed. Um, I think it's a little thin and it has, you know, like the yeah. welding in the middle. 
So I probably won't buy this again, but the price was right. And if I do a light, lighter weight bag, it'll be fine. And I got these little kits here, but uh, not today. All these I'm going to be giving away, except the zippers. I needed those. I just can't uh, mail stuff right now after spending all this. And then these little zipper pulls. I do like this kind of zipper pull because I like to put, I like to either hook a wristlet on through the hole or put um, like some vinyl and then, you know, sew it in there. So you got a little more beef to your zipper pull. I don't know if all this, this isn't all going to fit in there. So put that back. So there's that. W there. Where? W over there. All right. I'll go through some of this now. I bought some clear vinyl to, I'm going to make myself big so they can see better. Actually, no, I'll just do this. That way I can still see Deb. <laughs> <laughs> you can hide me. Oh, no. To make project bags. I have the clear vinyl, but I wanted to try. So I got this with the little hearts. I thought that would be cute. Or even for like an ID holder in a bag or a wallet. But I'm going to put this back in this little bag if I can get it in there. And the price was reasonable on these. I don't remember what it was, but I don't know. And this one has coffee cups. You can't really see it good in there. So let me. <clears throat> Jim it. wants to know what the weight of the vinyl is. Uh, let me see if it's on there. I don't see anything on the tags. So I have no way of knowing. It's from So Hungry Hippie. And these have coffee cups on them. Well, I like that. Yeah, that might be good for like a clear stadium bag. Because a lot of the stadiums, you're not allowed to take an actual bag in. The bot made me blush. <laughs> what did it say? How awesome you are? <laughs> And I got one more vinyl. I don't know if my other vinyl says what it is, but I don't really know where it is. I move stuff. I am. Hi, Ann. Hi, Candace. Hi, Miles. How are you? And then I go, oh, this is the other way. These are buttons and sewing machines and stuff. So I thought that would be really cool on a project bag. And you could put your scissors or, you know, whatever you put in a project bag. Your knitting, anything you want, actually. Hi, Bud Files. Hi, Candace. So I got that. Can't get it back in the bag, but. So that I thought was, and here is, this is cork from So Hungry Hippie, which I will leave out of the plastic. And this is like a plum. And the cork, I don't make a whole bag out of the cork because it's just not sturdy enough for my taste. So, but I do like to use it for accents. You know, like a little piece on the side or something. And I got all this from So Yeah. And it's domestic friendly. And this is the other one. It's like a black leopard vinyl. And it has the, like... Almost like a felt feeling 
you know, like a fuzzy backing. But I'm sure you'll have to wear your my non-stick foot for this. But I like this. This will make some nice bags. So I got those. And then they had a sale on just some random vinyl. So I bought this. I like the color, but it came folded in half. So now I have to put something on there to see if I can iron it and get the fold out. I don't like getting my vinyl folded in half. So, but it's a really pretty, like a light purplish gray, but the price is right. So even if I don't get that fold out, I can make plenty of stuff on either side. Cause I think it was only like $10 for this giant roll. Hi, Corey's Magnet Adventures. And then I got this red. It looks orange on the screen, but it's a red. And it's almost just like a marbled vinyl. And it has like the felt backing. But it's nice and soft. And it's scrunchy. And it doesn't wrinkle too bad. This isn't the color I thought it was. I thought it was like a mustard yellow. But it's some kind of must, Like a real light like mustard if you had in your shirt and you had tried to wash the stain out. That's what this color is. But I'll still use it. And that's that for that. And I'll show you the type of... Oh, I got more of it. This is the type of project bag I'll be making with the vinyl. Just like this. Um, with the zipper... Although they're not going to have the handle. I just think the handle makes it look chintzy. Um, I may try and put a, uh, what do you call those round things that have holes? Grommet here. Oh, and yeah. Then if you wanted to, you could attach a wristlet to it. And what else? Oh, I bought their mystery bundle. So I could get a ticket to a chance to win the sewing machine. So there was this really pretty like blue batik in there. And it goes from dark to light, almost like an ombre. And then this stripe, red, white, and blue stripe, which I love stripes for binding. And then this one is like a fall, uh, yeah, just fall foliage. So got that. And I think that's it for projects I received. So I did finish my um, other stuff, my block, whatever the block was. And I think I showed you this. I found this. This is going to be something for a bag. And then it looks like I had made one before, but I'm going to be making tote bags out of these chickens, roosters, or whatever they are. Let me see if I can. And then I will be adding those to my shop on Shopify. And I have enough for two bags left, and that's canvas. And of course, I will interface it with fusible fleece or that thermalome or whatever it is, fusible. Hi, May. How are you? Hi, Diane KW. Andrea says grommet. Yes. Hi, Teresa Louise. I put the uh, link in the chat. If anybody would like to come up, just click on that link and it'll bring you right to StreamYard. You just have to have your camera on so I know you're not a troll. Okay. I had something I was working on and I don't know what it is. Let me get, oh, let me get me off a of big too because enough of me already. We'll go back to here. Or here. Oh, that's a little too big, but uh oh I got a new ruler. I bought one from Rita too, so I'll have to wait to see that. 
And this is this week's block, I think, that I did. So I have to, I don't know what today's block will be until we draw it. So, but I sprayed quite a few rulers with my, with that spray. This is the spray, wait, no, here it is, that I got. I don't like, let me get smaller. This is the one I bought to put spray on the back of my rulers. It's Odif Grippy Non-Stick Spray. That's what I got. And it works pretty well. The um, fabric stuck right to the thing. But I've got a bunch of interfacing to do. I've, what is this? Oh, that's my mountain I got to do. But it looks like somebody moved my desk. I must have did it in my sleep because I don't remember. <laughs> All right, I'm going to scroll up and read the comments. <laughs> Try and see where I left off. Okay, I think I left off here, so Mary Webb is saying hi to Tracy. Hi, Tracy Hartig. Anything you want to show, Deb? Well, I did some shopping just a little bit at My Fabric Addiction. Oh, okay. I'll make you... If I can get it open... Yeah, there, I made you big. <laughs> Did you see that look? I don't think she likes being made big. It's daisies. Hi, Lisa. Oh, that's pretty. I guess I can't show it that way. I can't flip them that way either. Yeah, it's hard to get them up to the camera. They're just, they're all daisies. They're just different colors. But you need to hold them over a little bit. That, there you go. Yeah, right there. <laughs> they're all different colors. Oh, that's pretty. She does a good job of cutting them. And these, I think there's 96 of them in this bunch. Oh, so wow. So that was pretty good for $13. That's great. Yeah, I get the and solids, then, the bright colors, and they're um, around the same. You get a hundred for like twelve or thirteen dollars. And then I got her mystery bag. I guess I should scooch to where the camera is. Yeah, quit trying to hide in the corner. We don't put well, anybody. Well, I was in the gonna head here. over to the sewing machine. Okay, mine just made ah, today. Can't get it open. There's a whole bunch of two and a half inch squares, all different colors. Oh, those are nice. And then oh, here's some more. This one's got rainbows on it. Oh, that's pretty. I have some uh, scrap strips because I buy the scrap strip packs. Most of them are solids, it looks like. A little bit of different. Ugh, I can't get it open. Where's my scissors? Golly, couldn't get it apart. Let's just take a peek at some of them. There's a tree with a dog. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. Those look like little feet prints. Oh, hi, May. Hi, Diane KW. 
Hi, Teresa Louise. You can come up and sew with us if you'd like, or just show fabric. <laughs> hmm. So I got all of those. That's a whole bunch of uh, two and a half inch squares. And then I got, these look like three and a half. Yeah, these are three and a half inch squares. Oh, wow. You were shopping. <laughs> these are all in the mystery bag. Oh, you got a mystery. Yeah, I usually buy the strip packs. Yeah, I well, got the mystery good for a bag. Mystery thing. And then I got whatever the weather charm pack. Got rainbows on it. Oh, wait, I didn't see it. I was reading something. Can you show it again? There's, there's some umbrellas. Oh, on umbrellas. It. I like that. And then here's the rainbows. Oh, okay. From the sun. Very nice. I got a couple of them with the different umbrellas on it in it. I'll answer that question in a minute, Diane KW. Oh, look at how cute. Wouldn't that be cute in a kid's quilt? Yeah. So that one's called Whatever the Weather. And that one's by Paper and Cloth. And then this is a Fat Quarters. That was all in one pack? This is all in one pack. Oh, wow. I'm not buying this month, but if we I was. One. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And then we got this one. Oh, I like that. There we go. I got to push it towards the cam, the light. I really like this one. Oh, that's really pretty, yes. And then a plain purple. That's purple. It's hard yeah, to see purple. Too much plain. And then here's some more. Still more? Oh, yeah. Wow. And this one is one, two, three, four, five. This one's some charms. They're just different colors of solids. Oh, wow. But, but I still got quite a few of them. That's a lot. And that was and, a strap bag. And. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh. and I got a pattern called Foxtrot, um, designed by Jocelyn Ying from It's So Emma. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. And one more. This mystery bag was just stuck. And then I don't know how big this piece is, I but I have to go buy me a mystery bag now. <laughs> I just bought did. another one today. Oh, did you? Yes. This one is really cute. Oh, and it's got a blue piece inside of it. There's a blue piece. Oh, that's nice. That's folded in half. But here's the piece that I was looking at. Oh, that's cute. That looks Very like cute. a fat quarter. Oh, that is adorable. I think my lips are behind my talking. I don't know. So maybe it's just me. I'm kind of off today. So that was that was from Kimberly. Well, that's good. And that's at myfabricaddiction1.etsy.com. Right. right. Where you, she buys the scrap packs. I buy them there, too. This thing is itching. That, where they put that heart monitor on. And I'm working on my Clay's Choice. Okay. I think I already did that. Yeah, you just got done sure. showing it. Oh, okay. 
Um, I've Diane, got mine all together to sew it. Oh, okay. I Any more in that scrap pack? Nope, that's it, finally. Uh, anything else you want to show? Hmm. I'm trying to get to them. Oh, I got to quit going like this all the time. I look like a, I'm getting ready to smoke a pipe doing that. So I'm like, I got to quit. I don't remember what block this is. Oh, that's, um, oh, crap. I don't remember now, but I remember mm -hmm. the block. And then I did this one, too. That oh, one's that's also Dana. Hold it up a little more to the left and up higher. A little more the other side. Your left. There we go. That's pretty. Very pretty. I don't know if I did that one or not. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. It was in the pinkish colors. Oh, okay. <laughs> See if I got any other ones that I hadn't shown. Can oh, you tell them I got carried away with these fabrics? I like that blue, though. I did like three or four different blocks with these colors. Now the clay's choice I'm doing in white and green. Oh, that'll be and pretty. Floral. That'll be really pretty. All my blocks are all different colors. Yeah, I, <clears throat> the blue well, is just what I got carried away with for a little while. Well, that's this what one, I've been doing. I've just been. That one doesn't up. have any blue. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with blue. It's your quilt. You can make it any way you want. Oh, and then I finally did my chicken. Oh, that is adorable. And you got the little hat, too. I don't have the hat on my chicken. I've had it cut out for a while. I just didn't sew it together. But it was my first time doing the blanket stitch with my machine. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, I can't do that on my Juki, but I have my brother and my singer. Well, I don't know about the singer. I've never used it um, that I can do those stitches on. My chair keeps rolling backwards. I know. Mine does, too. So, Rita, I finally did your chicken. Well, that's good. It looks nice. Okay. That's it of those. All right. I'm going to go back to the comments. Diane, um, I don't know how heavy of a material you are using, but when I'm going over a thick, I don't sew fast because you can break a needle. And I also don't put interfacing in the seam allowance. I keep it out of there to cut down on the bulk. And if there's ever too heavy for a strap, you can always use rivets um, to put that on. So. Hi, Laura. Let me see. Laura, stop. Hi to Corey. I did connect to those who have put their link in the chat. Thanks. Thanks, D. Yes. Please connect to everyone. There's good channels that come in here. Well, it's up to you, but you know. I was hoping Rita would come up and show me some more fabric. <laughs> what did you do wrong? What kind of, without knowing what kind of needle you're using, um, what type of fabric, it's kind of hard. I use a 9014 Microtech needle when I do it. Or if it's really heavy, I'll use a hundred, the hundred one. And I use a heavier duty thread. And I also, you can't zoom when you're doing on a regular machine on uh, vinyl or anything like that. And you also have to use a non-stick foot. So it I just don't need depends. It. Okay. 
But if you want to email me all that, what you were using, or um, I can even set up a time on a Zoom. And hopefully you didn't break your machine too bad. The worst I've ever done is broke a needle. And when it's real thick, sometimes I will um, just do, use the hand wheel. Okay. Yeah, what kind of material are you using? Send me an email. We'll get together over a Zoom or something. and Or even on the Discord group. And then you can show me what you're working with and I can help you. Hi, Mary King. Clown car fabric. What? <laughs> I didn't see any clown car fat. Oh, maybe when you were showing it, she saw some. Just a little haul. Yeah, that was one scrap pack that she got for, what, $13? It, that was 15 oh, I got $15. the daisies. I got 96 of the daisies for 13 She got those at uh, myfabricaddiction1.etsy.com. Yep. Oh, and I did find one of my fabrics that I got for backing. I don't remember which quilt I was going to put it on. All right, I'm going to see if I can type it in. I must have eight or ten yards of this. There's, oops. Let me edit that. Is it going to let me edit it? No, I'll just type a new one. You like this, Donna? I got to move this over so I can see. It's got reds, too. There's the link for my fabric addiction where she got the um, the fabric. And most oh, of that was from the mystery bag. Yeah, that was a mystery pack. I went to the heart doctor today because I keep getting dizzy and I have passed out in the past. Um, I have that orthostatic um low blood pressure when you move it drops or whatever so she said everything's fine i just need to eat more salt because i told her i took all salt out of my diet years ago when my grandfather had a heart attack and she says no if you have low blood pressure you need salt so i just have to add salt back in my diet water and cut out sugar <laughs> I said, well, I can cut back on sugar, but I'm not going to give up sugar. So just to be on the safe side, she put one of those monitors on for two weeks in case it's, you know, something else is causing it. No big deal. Okay. Yo, Patty has some purple Crown Royal bags. Do you want them? Sure. How much do you want for them? And Awkward Quilter is asking you a question, Deb. Do you want to come up on the panel tonight for the sew along? No. Because at night I'm sitting in the living room with my husband and he has the TV on. <laughs> and I'm not going to ask him to sit there and watch it and mute it. <laughs> right. I don't blame you there. Yeah, so I just got mine. That's why I don't go on at night. Okay. I'm usually too tired or I, I giggle. <laughs> when I get tired, I giggle. And, and then until I get to a certain point, then I just get angry. So 
And yes, I got it on this morning. And I also gained nine pounds. Remember, I kept saying I'm getting thick in the middle. Well, I, I did. Well, I was, but I got thicker. But yeah, and she said that salt does not cause heart attacks. It's sugar and processed foods and meat. Oh, and fried foods, which I'm not giving up French fries either. But I could switch to a baked potato occasionally. Hi, Yarning for Smile, Yarntopia. Hi, Cheryl Minkin. I think I've said hi to everyone, but if I didn't, I'm sorry. Mona, I would come on, but I'm heading to town in a few minutes. Maybe when I get back, if you are still on. Okay, Teresa Louise. I'm hoping to end by three because I want to watch another channel. <laughs> I want to watch um, Beverly McCullough, Twinkle Toes. I think she's on today. I'm not doing the sew along because I'm still doing the other one, but I would like to watch it. And I should go for a walk today, but I'm a little sore. But it was really cool at the doctor's not to go back to that. I was sitting there, I look out the window, and this big hawk flies right up and gets on its nest. So I was sitting there filming it when they came in, and there was a big swan down there. And I never knew that place. They must have just built it not long ago back there. Maybe it's for the doctors or something. Yeah, she saw it. She said no. She couldn't see it because I was hiding the chat from her. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of like upholstery fabric oh, just that bound one. up the machine ooh well it depends on the type of upholstery fabric because I had a bunch of upholstery fabric but it was more like couch fabric so I gave that away it was vintage and that stuff was big I should have kept it to use it for the bottoms of bags um, it could be your machine just isn't, can't handle that. And a 9014 wouldn't be enough if it's thick, thick upholstery. You would need to bounce that up. Hi, freaking, how are you? Hi, Laura Sup. She's ordered from Fabric Addiction many times and is always happy. Yes, I have too. In fact, when I was working on the um, this quilt here, my uh, I got all this fabric done for my borders, but I counted wrong, so I sent the rest of my fabric to Sheila. So I still needed some, so I pulled out my... Uh, the charm packs I bought from my fabric addiction and that's where I got that color and the yellow swirl and the red swirl and the orange swirl so I got enough to finish it because Sheila was going to mail it back to me I said oh no no I'll just pull something out of my stash so and those will match all the cups but this is on hold for a few days because I have to trim all those blocks and that's one of my least favorite things trimming blocks Mona did you get to see the fabric that I found for I got it for backing for something and I don't remember oh that's pretty look at that and it's got purples and everything it looks like paint splash either paint splotches or fireworks when i saw it i thought of fireworks but i found that when i was rearranging this room and i couldn't remember what i bought it for yo patty yes I I'll, I'll, figure it out. I'll go ahead deb i didn't mean to interrupt Oh, no, no, no. All I said was, I guess I'll figure out what I was going to put it on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yarning for Smile said she loves that fabric. 
Let's Hi, see Katie. Macchiato's here. Lisa the Awkward Quilter. Let's see what she's saying. I'm going to show all the members now. Uh, I'm out there. Tired of being ignored. Actually have a meeting in a few minutes. See you tonight. We weren't ignoring you. You were just on hold like the rest of them. <laughs> she said no. She doesn't. She can't. Her husband watches TV at night. Yeah, I'm not in the sewing room at night. I'm only in it during the day. I guess I'm going to have to make something out of these two and a half inch squares now. She didn't say no sugar. She said cut down on the sugar. So to me, that's to me, that says no bag of donuts in the morning and ice cream at night. So I need to pick one. So I'll just pick ice cream at night or donuts, not both. Thank you very much, yo, Patty. Oh, you wore yours for a month. My brother, he has one in, they implanted his, a loop recorder, because he passed out at the barber shop for 10 minutes. They couldn't wake him up. So that's what he has. But he works too much and doesn't get enough sleep because he works midnights and then he babysits. Hi, Katie. How are you? Here's a link to the Facebook group. Everyone saying hi. Greenlit, the Greenwood Quilter has a channel. So does the Quilting Compound. If you haven't checked out those two channels, go ahead because they're great channels. I watch Jamie's. She makes some really nice quilts. Are you invisible? Yes. Are you in your airplane? No, that was the invisible airplane. No, Katie, you weren't invisible, but I put the comments, I put it on a thing while I'm talking, and then I read, so that way I don't lose track of who's, who I said hi to and who I haven't. It's my way of putting everything in slow mode without doing slow mode. Awkward quilter can see her. Everybody sees you. I'm just slow at reading the chat. That's all. <laughs> That's because we were having fun showing. Yes, we were showing fabric. fabric. I can see people chatting on the video screen, but not in the chat where I'm at. I don't know. What video screen? Are you in YouTube or are you in something else? I'm not sure. Because I, I have every, both of them up. Diane KW, you do count. Everyone that comes here counts. <laughs> Jeez. And there's Dee's channel. Andre Jamain sees you, Katie. Hi, Aisha's Handmade Items. She just started another channel. Her one channel she crochets on. And my brain just went blank what her other channel is. She's saying YouTube, the chat was only showing what the bot was posting to begin with, but now people are talking in here. I don't know. Maybe that's a computer issue because I show the chat moving over here. The StreamYard chat is going slow because I got it on slow. So it's going fast over here and slow over here. So I'm sorry if I don't read fast enough, but I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> I didn't see Lorraine come in. 
Lorraine Young. Yeah. yeah, she came in earlier. Hi, Lorraine Young, in case I missed you. See, there's Nightbot welcoming welcome you. The chat on your screen is slower than the chat. Yes, because I am slow. I'm going through and highlighting each, each one from the beginning until where I left off. And when we were talking and um, sharing fabric, I put it on hold on my end, but the YouTube was still zooming along so that I wouldn't miss anybody. I'm sorry that's confusing, but I'm glad everyone's here. Hi, Kathy Waits. Some channels don't even say hi at all, so I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> Yay, now, you're caught up. Now I'm caught up. <laughs> and I'll show right there so I know where to go next. <laughs> oh, see, please check out channel member Helen right there. You and Deb are doing an awesome job. Thank you, D. Greenland quilter Katie says, what are you working on, Mona? Nothing yet. It was mostly show and tell. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. <laughs> we like show and tell. Yes, we like showing all our purchases. Thank you, Laura Sup. Um, I'm not sure what I, I have to cut out a bunch of stuff. And I have to, my brother gave me more Crown Royal bags to make, which I really don't want to do that. Um, I have to put stuff away. If I knew what the block is tonight, if Lisa would tell me, then I could work on it right now. Make sure you, what, what's it say? Yes, on live chat. You're right, Andrea. We would love to see what you bought. <laughs> you too, Deb. That's what we just did. <laughs> you want to see it again? I'll show you. I got one of Mona's stickers and I finally put it on my jar. This is all my wonder clips. Oh, cool. I'm not going to get it all out again, but I bought stuff for a project bag. I'll show the edges of it. The pink coffee cups. But I showed it at the beginning. You can go back. This one, I'll show you real quick because I love it. It has sewing machines on it and cutters. And I bought all this from So Yeah, but you can get it at... Um, my hungry hip hip is it i threw the tap hungry hippo or my hungry hippo one of those isn't it so hungry hippo yeah something like that yeah so hungry hippo and then i just bought some remnants of vinyl from so yeah and i'm going a little faster this time but this is cork which I use for accents on bags. And this is like a black shiny leopard. And then a bunch of bag hardware and some one yard bundles or half yard bundles. And I think that's it. Oh, here's the, I couldn't remember where I put the bundles. I got this, this, I got a ticket for the sewing machine, the drawing at, I think it's the 29th on So Yeah. So yeah, got, So Hungry Hippie. So Hungry Hippie, yes. And, there that, you go. and then this fabric here. So that's what I bought. Wow. Deb can show hers again if she wants. 
<laughs> oh, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought this ruler because I needed one that was a little smaller when I'm cutting down here instead of my great big one. And the only reason I bought that is because when I bought this spray, this makes the back of your rulers non-stick. I saw this and threw it in with the cart. So that's that. I bought a ruler from Rita, but I haven't got it yet. I bought some fabric from Rita, but I don't know where I put it. Aisha, I'm a beginner too. Me too. Well, quilter beginner. I've been making bags for a while. Oh, and that pattern I bought. This is the pattern. It's upside down. <laughs> it's, it's a convertible bag. You can wear it as a backpack or a um, crossbody. And usually when I get a new pattern, I always make it in cotton first. So that way, um, I make my mistake. Whoop! My light fell down and ooh, turned on. I don't know how to turn it off. There. Nope. Hey, Courtney's here. Hi, Courtney. There we go. I don't even know that's not even supposed to be underneath there so i have a bunch of stuff to cut i need to finish this backpack is what i need to do um oh my god i zipped up the thing all right this is the little pouch that i made to go with the the backpack and it has a horse zipper pull and this is waterproof canvas and then i just put regular canvas inside and no interfacing so i need to start on oh where'd this red come from i don't think it goes with that i'll keep it just in case um so that's what it's gonna be and I made everything. I got all the pieces. So I need to work on that. But before I can work on that, I have to change my machines and get them all ready to sew bags. And not, not this. And I think I've showed you the Devons that I'm going to be making with the, with this fabric. I think I did. So I have those ready to go. I have my cup of love ready to sew. Oh, I got more stuff up here. <laughs> oh, here's some more stuff I bought. I forgot. D, that's really good. <laughs> I know she just started quilting too, and she's got one ready to send off. Oh, I lost where... There. I'm, I'm a new quilter. Just finished my class quilt and taking tomorrow to get the batting and backing fit to put on to send off to be a quilted. That's awesome. Uh, I've only ever sent one to be quilted and that was a vintage um, top. I did not make the top. Bye, Jim. I sent it. Bye, everyone. Bye, Jim. Or not everyone. Bye, Jim. <laughs> We're not leaving. <laughs> And I sent it to Teresa Louise because I didn't want to quilt that myself because I didn't want to, you know, get it ruined. And she did a fabulous job. And then when I got it back, I just put on the binding and she trimmed, trimmed the binding and squared it for me because I'm terrible at that. Oh, pollen season. I can imagine. 
if anybody would like to come up, I'm going to put the link in the chat. You can come up and talk about your channel. I bought this from the Fat Quarter Shop. And it looks like there's butterflies, but I think they're more moths. So I bought this one. And I bought this quilt pattern. Which I don't know if you can see. And then I bought afternoon tea my favorite fabric okay, i'll hold one like this and one like that which i love and then i purchased uh riley ba blake rush it's a <laughs> thing <laughs> No, Donnell, I'm not trying to get rid of you. <laughs> oh, just having one of those days. And this bag I finished the other day. That's what I made on last week's live. So I probably could work on one of those. But I've got to pick out. Whoops. Do -de -do. I've got to pick out fabric for. Oh, wait, I did pick out fabrics. Let me get my uh, other quilt and I'll show you what I'm working on. Instead of just showing you fabric. I actually do sew once in a while. All right. I'm working on afternoon. Is it afternoon tea or tea something? Afternoon tea party. Afternoon tea party is what I'm working on. And I think everybody's seen the teapots. But in case you haven't. These are the teapots I did. This one, the spout is wrong, but I'm leaving it. <laughs> and I'll show you the teapots. Let me take these, this off. There's one of the teacups. And then I'll show you the, whoop, where's the stinking camera? Right there. There's one. There's one. And I think all these blocks are big. That's why there's so much white up top. And then I'll show you what I have picked out for the next cups. I just got to cut all the fabric. I don't know why I'm so hyper today. Probably because I got up too early. I'm not an early riser. Okay, so I'll show you the actual. These are the fabrics I got picked out. Let's see if there's a picture. Oh, yeah, but it's washed out. So because I normally don't print the patterns, but that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if you can see, probably not, but it's a bunch of tea pots and cups on a shelf. So this is what I've picked out for, I hope that's, apparently I put my white somewhere else because this isn't enough to finish it, but these are going to be a set of cups. I'm going to use this here as the accent, like the handle and the the saucer, and then this will be the cup. It's tea labels. Oh, I got it upside. It says Lady Grey Tea. Maybe if I turn this light off, it'll help. Make yourself big, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yarning for Smiles here. Hi, Yarning for Smile. There she is. Hi. I had no voice. I was trying to say hello, but it was not working. I'm sorry. I didn't see you down there. No, I, I okay. get kind of behind. I, I saw you put the link up, and I had some... So I like lurk on y'all's channels, but I have some sewing questions, because I want to I wanna immerse myself Okay. in the sewing things. All right, let me just finish my teapot. Right, make yourself big so we can see, because I was trying to look at your fabrics also. Oh, okay. 
All right, here are what I'm making the teapots out of. This is going to be the handle and the saucer. Saucer. That's Thanks. Fine. And then this is going to be the main part of the cup. And it says Lady Grey Tea. And it just has tea labels. Like over there, it has like a little uh, oh. teapot. So there's one cup. The other cup is going to be this with the cats and the plants and oh. the thing. And I'm going to try and fussy cut so that little cat is in the middle so you can see it the right side up. And then this will be the saucer and the handle. That and then we got another one. This is the more. same fabric, but in blue. And I'm going to use this for the other cup. Oh, I have a phone call. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. And this will be the, this is that label fabric. And then I got this for the handle and the saucer. And that's just for the next set. And then the other ones I'll pick new fabric. And then I have the green and the checked. And the last one is, this is going to be the cup. And then the leaves are going to be the, wait, I got too many extra. The leaves are going to be the saucer and the handle. And I don't know what that's in there for. And I'm missing all the white fabric. So I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to dig that back out. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to be working on, but I have to get it all cut out. So let me put that back. And that is afternoon tea. And then everybody saw the cup of love that I'm working on, I think. I'm not sure. So I'm going to make you big so you can introduce yourself, if that's okay, and tell them about your channel. Okay. All Hi. right, there you go. I'm Kim. I really like yarn and fabrics and other crafts. <laughs> I am mostly a knitter, crocheter. I do spinning. I do cross stitch. I dabble in sewing. Like I make project bags. That's about it. That, that's my wheelhouse. I'm wanting to expand, but I need some guidance because quarters are a uh, tricky one for me without trying to get my finger caught in the needle as well as I don't know. I need some good direction on that. And on pairing fabrics together. That's okay. I, <laughs> I, just, I just kind of pick what I like and go from there. I don't, I don't know if there's any, I know they have a color wheel or something that you're supposed to do, but I kind of don't go by the rules. I kind of just, <laughs> <laughs> I think, and I really don't either. And I think that's where it's kind of landed me in some weird sewing situations when it goes to sewing project bags. Because I'll find myself grabbing a fabric that I didn't realize how stretchy it was, so I start sewing, and then I have buckling. Oh yeah! If you're gonna sew with a stretch fabric, you need to interface it with something that doesn't stretch before, before you, you sew, sew it. it. Yes. Uh, okay. So yeah, that, that was an unknown to me. <laughs> I, I mean, I've, I've figured out corners somewhat. I mean, I think it's, it's not horrible. No, it looks good to me. That looks good. Yeah. It looks but good. I want to, I have a hard time keeping it straight. Like, I don't know if there's any tips about keeping lines straight. Don't I watch the needle. See, I think that's, I think I have a fear of like stabbing myself with a needle. So I'm just kind of like honed into the needle. Yeah, watch be. the spot wherever you, where, whatever your seam allowance, watch that. Don't watch the needle because that's what I first did when I started and it was all wonky. Do y'all have anything on your machine as a guide? Because I have. I, I have put a, um, painter's tape. Oh, that's a good idea. Because I can't see the little markings on there. I can't Sometimes either. they're not right. So I take a ruler and I measure from the needle out. And then I just put a piece of tape there. And then I just follow the tape. That's I never look at the needle yeah. or the little marks. What about a great place to learn about how to sew? Her? YouTube. Is there any uh, any particular? Do y'all do have one? A video 
on sewing a curve. Mm -hmm. I have like in a bag, but I don't go over it. I just sew it and then clip it going okay. around the corner of a bag. But I think uh, Donnell Stitchery, she's she did a, um, what do you call it? One of those, oh, it's a round thing on a quilt. What is that, Deb? <laughs> a button? A, um, the drunkard's what? path. Yeah, the drunkard's path. Drunkard's um, path. And she's good at that. And there's Awkward Quilter. There, so Becca is a really good channel to learn from because she's very slow and really tells you how. But okay. what I did when I first started sewing around a curve is I would take a pencil and draw it on the back side of my on my seam allowance and I would just draw it all the way around the curve. Oh, Teresa Louise I quilt too is a great channel too. She even shows you how to use a seam ripper. And then I would just um follow with my sheet machine. You have to go slow and then when you get there turn 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 until you get the hang of it. Now I can kind of just whip around the thing but um is draw it on and sometimes i'll do that at the just at the top of a bag where the where it's really important to make sure those line up or your seams won't line up i just draw a little line up there and then if you go wonky in the middle of the bag it doesn't really matter as much right <laughs> so that's what i do is just draw it right on the fabric on, your, on the plate of your sewing machine it's got lines too yeah, mine's kind of hard. You can follow those. I just got done doing a drawstring bag. And my two inch took me right to the edge of my plate. So I just ran it right along the edge of the plate. And I have the, my sewing machine. I think I just need to practice more. When I bought this newer one, it's, I don't remember what kind it is. It's over there. But it. Let me just grab it real fast because I can look and then I can ask a question. Hi, everyone. If there's anyone I missed. Hi, Grow Big TV. If you'd like to drop your link, let me switch banners. Type sew or bags and then Nightbot will drop your link for you. Mine don't go... What's it say? Mine don't go particularly straight because I watch the foot. Okay. So this is my machine. She's oh, you got a brother. Old. That's a nice little machine. I have one like that. Like I just, I have a hard time sometimes seeing the little, the graph thing or whatever it's called on the, the metal part. Mm-hmm. And... I think that's, I don't know, I think that's my problem. I this see. thing does like to eat thread and get jammed kind of easily. Do you realize, does yours do that at all? When like you I'm first start yeah. sewing, hold your threads. Okay. And pull, either, or yeah. you can either use a hold leader. the thread or use a lit leader ender. Yeah, that's just a scrap piece that you put down and you start sewing in like in the middle so it won't get sucked down in. Uh, but okay. um, if you just hold your thread tails, and when I start on the edge, I don't start at the very edge. I start in like maybe two stitches, do a stitch, and then I back stitch, and then I go forward. And then I don't have as much getting sucked down in. Okay. But this is the tape I'm talking about. Just the blue, blue painter's okay. tape. You can use masking tape, but sometimes it gets stuck. And then I just go from the line all the way down. I take it all the way off and then I just line up my fabric to that. Okay. To the tape, you know, right the side of the tape. And you can move it. Like usually on my bags, I do a half inch seam allowance because that way, um, especially when it's a vinyl or something, I like to go around again in the seam allowance. So I'll do a, you know, just for added strength. I'll do the half inch and then I'll go in maybe an eighth to a quarter and sew in the seam allowance all the way around again. And that way you don't have to worry about pop seams. But just whatever your pattern says, just mark it. 
See, and I, go I, like that. I don't even know if I know how to read a pattern. Like making the bags, I literally just drew out some cardboard and then I cut it and then I held yep. fabric up to it and then I cut it. And then I like, there was a lot of trial and error. Many pieces of fabric were lost in the making of project bags. Yeah. I follow the pictures. So, yeah, so, so I'm going to figure this out one way or another. And I mean, I've There's made this, too. this is a magnetic seam guide. Oh. Yeah, it just clips right on your pressure. On the, on the, on the metal right point. down to it. But that mine doesn't be. stick very well, so I don't use mine anymore. In fact, I don't even know where it is. Oh, here it See, is. I'm very limited. I don't have like a sewing shop, I guess. I'm in Alabama in the middle of nowhere. So we have like a Hobby Lobby and we have a Michaels, but our Michaels is what they consider a UPC store. So it only sells the top selling SKUs out of every Michaels. Oh. So it's very weird products that they sell like in yeah. Alabama and most of the yarn they carry is like bulky, super bulky weight. And I'm like, who's going to use that here? Though you would die from heat. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't have a Joann's. The closest Joann's is over two hours. And that's about it. I buy everything online. I will say online. So I'll have to look for that online. It's just called like a metal. It's a magnetic scene guide. You can probably magnetic get it on eBay, scene guide. Amazon. I got mine off of Amazon. And a good place to buy fabric to practice on is a thrift store. Just go I'll there. See, if they I don't have, have any good pack. fabric, look for a man's shirt, a big man's shirt that you can cut up. And you I have, I have a I have a fabric stash. Oh, so when okay. I when I got my 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 little sewing machine and I decided I was going to make bags, I kind of went a little crazy. Oh, okay, I would go to oh, town. Yeah, we, all all do. <laughs> <laughs> we all do that. Yeah, and you see the you see the yarn addiction behind me. That's all yarn in those bookcases. The fabric is like a single bookcase, but I've been working on organizing it and there's still a laundry basket to go. It looks really pretty. It's it's color coordinated. I wish I could carry you over there, but I can't unless I like sign in on my phone. It looks nice. Well that's but good. Now I I'm started out crocheting. I used to crochet all the time when my daughter was at dance or what soccer, I was crocheting. And then my when they got older they didn't need me sitting there as much and then my arthritis got in the way. So then I started sewing. I just want to be able to sew. I like the whole quilted thing. I like to use, I like to use up leftovers and I really want to make some pajama pants, but I want to make some like book sleeves because I love to read and I like to have a backpack and I want something to put my books in and make like the little uh, quilty like coasters. I'm very, that kind of stuff. It just, it brings me joy. I like yeah. it. I used to always practice. I practice on old clothing. Anything I could get my hands on, I would practice. And I mean, because when I first started sewing, it was pitiful. <laughs> I mean, it was pitiful. So I got a super chat from Grow Big TV. So I have a um, video I'm going to play for him. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, yay. Thanks. I always like to cheer on the super chats, too. Oh, I, I love so. all those things that she does. <laughs> I have monsters that dance on mine. Yeah, when I fir first started on YouTube, all I started was a phone. And I would make videos. And... um. I would put it here, make a scene, stop, and then I would move the camera over here, film, stop. And then when I went live, oh my goodness, I was trying this stuff I didn't know how to do. And it was just a hot mess express because sometimes I'd show up with this little tiny window and there's nothing else. And then I just kept practicing. And oh, thank you. I'll, 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 uh, I'll find you. <laughs> Laura Sup says she has a quarter I have a quarter inch foot with a guide. Those are nice too if you're doing a quarter inch. 
Um, I use that when I'm boom. <laughs> I use my quarter inch foot when I'm quilting and then I just let it go. But then I still have the, I have that seam tape down here where I can feed it from back here. And then and I, I just use the other. I think the kids thing is what's really kept me from really sitting down because my grandmother was a huge quilter and I want to carry that on. But I'm a homeschool mom and I have two boys and you can't really just leave them unattended for a long time because they're boys and right. things happen. So now that they've gotten older and we recently built this, we built this space for me last year, my little studio. I have a place where I can set it up and actually sew and I have to clean it up so we can have dinner every night. Right. That, that got really, um, old fast. <laughs> yeah. And so I never really, and that's why I kind of gravitated more to knitting and crochet. Cause I could just throw it in a little bag and set it in the chair and it's out of the way and it's not taking yeah, up table space. Idea. And I really want to, that's why I'm really going through all my fabric because I really want to use my fabric and sew and kind of carry on my grandmother's tradition because it's very important to me to do so. And I have some of her old fabrics and stuff. So. Yeah, I have a bunch of vintage fabric from my grandmother that I use. Not always because I keep buying new, but <laughs> I have it. Yeah, we had a lady that locally that passed that used to have, I guess, a shop, but there was just totes and totes of fabric and you could just buy a tote of fabric for like 10 bucks. And it was just like all brand new yeah. yard fabric. And there's some really cool ones in there. So I really want to make some more project bags. Like I've made a bunch of project bags. I just yeah, like that's what I'm going to be working on. They're just um, fun. And I like to have different projects for different moods than whatever I'm knitting or crocheting. So Yeah. But I never know what I'm going to sew. It's just, I like quilting. I really enjoy quilting. And I like bag making. So I just skip back and forth. I usually quilt until the needle's ready to go. And then I'll clean everything, get a new needle, and then start on bags. Work on them till I absolutely wear out that needle. And then I'll switch back to quilting. Because I hate changing back and forth in the needles. Because then I'll put it over here. And I'll say, was that needle still good? Or do I need, you know. And then I end up putting it in my, I put all my broken needles or any, all those in a, medicine bottle to keep the animals from getting it i've only so broken one there. but I, I did notice that there was all different kind of needles i wasn't really sure for their purpose like i if guess you I'm go on the schmetz website they have a free booklet that you can right. download and it tells all about the needles and all the different sizes and what they're for that's really good information. I appreciate that. Because that's where I went. Because I didn't know one thing from another. Yeah, and you stand there. Stretch and fabrics. Oh, my God. That was another learning curve to make um, costumes for my daughter. Oh, that was a learning curve beyond learning curves. <laughs> well, the last one, Lisa's back. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. See, I didn't ignore you. <laughs> The last thing I, the last time I made a wearable as far as sewing, I was a senior in high school and it was for home ec. And I'm, I'll be 44 this year. So it's been a minute. Yeah, I made a swimsuit in home ec, but I made it out of quilting cotton. I never wore it because it was hideous. <laughs> Do you still have it? I did have it for a long time and then I finally let it go when I moved here after I got the kids. I'm like, no, get rid of it. I made some seersucker pants. And once I got done with it, I'm like, and got my grade. I hated them. I wouldn't wear them. My yeah, dad took them. Either. My dad took them and they were like high waters on him. <laughs> and he wore them for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, I made a, a paper mache doll in Home Ec too. It was absolutely horrible. It could have been in one of those um, horror movies. 
<laughs> I got a D on it, and I'll, I was so heartbreaking. I mean, I tried my best on that darn thing, and it just was horrible. It looked like a little old lady, but with this weird-looking big smile and all. So I think five years ago, my mom says, do you want this doll? I go, no, I never want that doll. I said, take it outside and burn it. I said, there's something wrong with that doll. So I don't know if she did or not. I said, or throw it away. I said, it's never coming over here. I made I'm a sentimental, but not with that doll. That thing gave me the creeps. And then when that Chucky doll came out, I thought, oh, that's my doll. The old, the old lady Chucky doll. So when Chucky came out, there was another actual doll that came out that same year. Because I'm a child of the 80s. And that was the, um, her name was Cricket. And you put a VH, a little cassette tape in her back and her eyes and her mouth would move to oh. whatever the tape was playing and I still have mine I need to bring her out here because she's kind of creepy but I like her and I, I remember that so well but my first sewing thing was like this two-piece pajama set that was shorts and I don't know what I was thinking when I chose the fabric it was literally this color blue and it had like these random dog houses all over it and these dogs that were like orange upside down with their feet in the air. It looked like they'd been like ran over. I don't know. My mom still has that in a hotel and she just needs to burn it. And, like I don't even I don't even know where we found that fabric, but it is scary. It's scary. And when I did the the whatever the button thing, the knitting it's called a button band. I don't know what it's called for sewing. But like I cut the fabric so one side is like this high and the other side's like this high. Like there's just really weird angle. So it looks like yeah. you buttoned it wrong, but it was sewn that way. Yeah. I'd still wear it. I just said it was a designer element. Yes. It was, it was trending. <laughs> um, Diane KY said the same with thread. Go to the manufacturer's website to learn about the superior threads is a good site, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, my thread, I had a couple. I buy my thread at waywack.com because it's lower, lower priced. And anytime I have a, a question, especially about upholstery thread and stuff like that for the bags, I send them a message. And now they've included it in their description because I didn't know if I could use it for my de domestic machine. And they emailed me back the same day because I buy these giant cones. Where is it? I've just gotten thread at Wally World. <laughs> I buy these giant cones of oh, thread wow. for bag making. Is and... that metallic? Mm -hmm. Is it metallic thread or is that just the plastic on there? Oh, that's plastic. I don't like the dust to get on it. It's oh, okay. Just gray. And it looked like it was unicorn blue, purple. I do have metallic thread somewhere, but I've never used it. It's out in the other sewing um, table in my dining room because my sewing's taking over the whole house. Mine did but, too. Yeah. See, that's how my knitting and crochet was. That's why he finally said that I could take over this room. That's why I got this room. I understand that. And I think my husband just realized I needed a place to, to go to because I'm with our kids all the time. And I am his mom's caretaker. So. I so you it. need some alone time. It, we can't. It's. Yes. <laughs> I, I love my role, though. I really do. But it is nice to go outside and just kind of shut the door and yep. have conversations with people who also enjoy crafting and not children are looking at me with like, oh, mom, really? Like, we care about yarn. <laughs> <laughs> try to make them care and they don't care. And when I was like going through and I took over the dining room table and I had the ironing board and like kind of organizing all my fabrics, the, the really because I really want to start um, sewing some. My oldest, he was 16. He's like 6'2". He walks in there and he looks at me. He's like, really? We're doing this today, mom? And I'm like, <laughs> yes. And he was like, so I don't have to do schoolwork? I'm like, no, you can still do your schoolwork. No, no, mom. I don't want to be around that. I, I can smell it. I'm like, you can smell me ironing the fabric? Yes, I can smell it. I'm like, whatever. <laughs> You're so full of baloney. That's just an excuse. Yep. 
Although I can smell it when I'm ironing fabric, but sometimes I burn it. So. <laughs> it's like cooking. We burn everything. Yeah, that's why I have a timer on my um, refrigerator. I set it for either five or six minutes, and that's when I know to, that I'm still cooking, or else I would yeah. probably burn the house down. Sometimes I have to set multiple timers because I'll walk away and I can't hear one timer because of the like exhaust fan. So I have to have another timer going on. It's like in another room in case I'm on that side of the house at the moment. All right. I need to find a zipper. But I moved my zippers. Zippers I'm still really learning to. I've done a couple of zippers in some bags. But there's like some weird puckering sometimes on the end. Well, you're probably pulling on the zipper. I have to figure out that. But you can use that double-sided tape, and that way it's on there, and you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I forgot I moved it up here. Let's see. I thought I had a zipper bag close to me. Let me see if I can grab. Oops. Diane KW says, any good thread manufacturer will have info just for learning, no matter where or what you buy. And as someone else said, Karen Brown's site is excellent for learning all kinds of basics. Thank you. Rita Pache. Pacheo's here. She's saying hi to everyone. And then she said she started laughing because, hey, my, <laughs> because my first project in home ec in high school, I made a dress the color avocado, which was ugly. I didn't want to wear it. <laughs> oh, I love Rita. I know Rita. So like my issue is keeping the button area like balanced, I guess you can say. So like this one, Where's my camera? This is hard. This one has more of a peekaboo, I guess, area. And then, but when I got to this one, it's, it, they're off. And I don't know what I did to do that. Sometimes your fabric will just slide. Mm -hmm. So that's why if you use the double-sided tape, then you don't have to worry about it. And do you have any tips for like on the inside? Because I like to line my bags, but it gets to where sometimes this, I... I don't, I guess the fold where the zipper was in gets caught in the corner of zipper. Is that? I can't really see. No, um, I need to, I'll try to take a picture and send it to you. And like, some, it's, is there, it's, I don't know. Like that one has no issue there. And then this one, somehow the fabric got way up in there and pokes over. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got slippage. If you use the double-sided tape, you're not going to have that problem. Okay. And are you interfacing your lining? That'll help, too. I haven't. Usually, I just interface the bottom because I like for the bottoms to stand flat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have glitter all over me now. I forgot this thing poops glitter. Um, and that way, it can just kind of stand. And that way, it was easier, I think, when I sew my bottoms and cut the corners, the I call it pinch them. I don't know what the square in the bottom. Okay. <laughs> that made it a lot easier. <laughs> I, just, I don't have terminology with this stuff. Hi, I, did figure out, I did figure out pockets. Um, I like to put pockets in my bags. It's just Bye, been a lot of, it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun making them. So, there's just glitter everywhere. She's saying, Kim, you're a sweetheart. I'm so happy to see you in the chat. I used to quilt all the time, and then I wanted to make a granny square. I have to get back to my quilting. I want to get into the quilting. Well, you can do both. I know. I, I, I Well, that's my problem. I, I can't uh, do both anymore because of my arthritis. I'm a craftaholic. And, uh, I got rid of most of my yarn. Because I used to do craft shows, um, crocheting. I used to drag the little kids with me 
and they'd play underneath the table. So. I've never done a craft show. We have like a really big event that happens here in town that it's huge. They shut down the older part of the town and there's just booths everywhere. You don't even want to drive to town that whole weekend unless you're going to this event. And there's so many cool, amazing crafters there. And I think that's kind of what brings me back to wanting to really get into quilting. So, and then, so I really, I need to do that. I, Asia. I know we need to have like a talk about all this quilting, Aisha and Rita. I didn't know y'all wanted to quilt too. Aisha's handmade items. I am to, into quilting too. That's great. Good to see you. more people getting into quilting. I think it's just kind of. I just had a bag fall. For quilting. Do you ever a uh, good channel to watch is Tiffany's Quilting Life. She's on, she well she does videos and tutorials, but she also goes live every Sunday. I'm not sure the time. I just. I know it's maybe seven or eight. I'm not sure. But she really goes into detail showing you how to do that. And then there's Jamie's uh, the Quilting Compound. She's another good one. Uh, Brenda from Mount Scrapmore. She does a free uh, block pattern every Friday. Um, I, there's just so many channels. I quilt with Teresa Louise I Quilt 2 is another one. I'm trying to think of all the ones I watch. Because, I mean, I watch a lot of quilting channels. Because that's how you learn. Mount Scrapmore. She's a... Who? Brenda with Conquering Mount Scrapmore. She's on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday that she's got videos out. Oh, okay. That is okay. a yeah, really she's cute a good channel one. name. And mom and pop quilt shop. She does all different. Um, she does videos. quilts and bags. She does that. She doesn't just quilt. She does bags and quilting and long arming, all kinds of stuff. And the quilted chicken farm is a great place to buy fabric. She'll show you the fabric right on screen. And that's Rita from Rita's Roost. She started her own fabric shop. And another channel to do hers but there i mean i'm sure i'm missing a bunch of channels ian the off kilter crafter is good oh there <laughs> that's what Gigi said yep he's another one that's really good so just, do y'all do y'all think that there's more of a shift to handmade in the last couple of years than there has been like i noticed just in the knitting and crochet community there's more knitters and crocheters coming i guess out of the woodworks creating channels and trying to get Ever more crafty. Since the pandemic. yeah and i think yeah. it's such an amazing thing that happened because of that because i think it's bringing us back to a slower time of life where we just kind of sit and then really get into something that brings us joy yeah hi teddy florida claimers ted Hi, Little Treasures by Nancy. She's another really good ch oh, channel. She, I she love makes Nancy. these miniature, like... Amazing things. Yes. She is just amazing. Yep. I could never do that. And what is... Oops. I think I missed something. The Pajama Quilter. Yes, yes. And there's Donnell Stitchery. There's um, Pastry Queen. What is it? Pastry Queen. Is it something about Armstead or Homestead? Homestead, I think. But yeah, um, quilting. I think the ones I watch to learn the most are So Becca and Tiffany. Because um, they both break it down to as if you don't know anything without being too... I, I don't know anything about sewing. You know, without being too simple. My, my, sewing is, um, 
my sewing wins have been by pure coincidence, I can assure you. Yeah, well, that's the way to do it. That's how I started, just making squares for um, bags. The first bag, tote bag I ever made, I didn't know one fabric from the other. It was out of my grandmother's old t-shirt, um, thin t-shirt. It was horrible. I still have it somewhere. But you could see through it. I didn't line it. I just made this tote bag. I didn't have a pattern. And then I just kept learning and learning. But, oh, for bag making, the best one that I know is um, Warmy No. She is my absolute favorite bag maker out there. Say that name one more time for me, please. Warmy No, Lauren Marino. Oh, Lauren. Okay. Yeah. And you said mug rugs and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Marie Scrappy Creations. She does pot holders, mug rugs, Ooh. all different things. And then even Kathy's Quilts and Crafts, they do a block a week every week in their channel. So there's tons, tons of channels out there. Rita's Roost does quilting and canning. I mean, I'm going to get in trouble, I know, because I missed a channel, but there's tons. Yeah, Just my poor YouTube. Your search and they'll all come up. I feel so bad for my YouTube because, you know, it's supposed to, like, pull videos or whatever to things that you may like. Mine just thinks I'm a nutbag because there's, like, video games, there's sewing, there's knitting, there's crocheting, there's homemaking, yeah. there's cooking, and clay stuff. And it's just, like, I don't even know what to put in front of her. Yeah. I'm and like a little squirrel. The Awkward Quilter GA, she's doing a whole quilting series from start to finish with a different block every week. And she has really explained everything on cutting, buying the fabric, picking out the fabric. I mean, right down to basics for an absolute beginner quilter. And uh, so she's really good. I mean, she goes into detail on her videos. And that's the, I'll show you what we're making there. She does all the hard ones. I haven't done all the hard ones. I just kind of pick the ones I like. But um, it's with um, Rita's Roos channel, my channel, and her channel, and Rowena that's not here today. But um, every week we're sewing a video, or sewing a block. This is this week's block. And people are just using their scraps or whatever. And but Lisa's the one that runs everything. She um makes She's videos. The secretary. I, yeah. I make them here and there when I feel like it. So <laughs> but she actually does all the work. I just oh I know I'll make a block this week. But these are all different, and each week we pick a different block. And I just use my scraps because I've never made any of these blocks before. That's so pretty. This so one I had to wash because I uh, cut my finger on the rotary cutter and had to get the blood out of it. <laughs> and that one's like a leaf. So Homestead and Wood with D say, which channel is this on again, Mona? Uh, the Sew Alongs. Yes. You I mean think the block? So. The block along. Doing, yeah, it's on Rita's Roost, Awkward Rita's Quilter, Roost. and my channel. Awkward, uh, Awkward Quilter GA. Yeah, it's on Monday nights. And she's the one that, she's doing the video, the lives every Monday from now till the end. Rita did them. I did one. And then I didn't want to do any more because I, love I leave things. early on Mondays. So she's kind of taking it over. But Rita does the sewing and she, two on her channel. But it's all three channels. and That's really pretty. Oh, that looks really cool. I like that one. And each, each week, Rowena picks a, a block out of the thing. And then we sew the block. Oh, and cool. then everybody sometimes make videos, but Lisa makes a video every week, no matter what. And she goes in detail. 
I'm not a detail person. I just kind of whiz real fast. Oops, it's upside down. That's my tree. Oh, that's so pretty. So that's how I've been learning all the different blocks because, and we did a block swap before this one, but we had to mail all the blocks. This one, you don't mail the blocks. But um, so Rita's Ruth, Awkward Quilter GA and me, and then Rowena is doing it too. We do all these blocks. And then um, the Quilted Chicken Farm, which is Rita's channel, she has fabric on, and her fabric is only $10 a yard. And it's quilting good fabric. So it's a good place to buy fabric too. So, in fact, that's where I got the fabric for the binding on that other teapot quilt. So, and it's fun. And uh, if you want to join, you can come up and show your blocks on the panel after um, we draw. Um, Rita lets people come up on her channel. Lisa does. I do. Sometimes I just send it to the panel members, but then I'll put it in the chat in the middle. I don't like to pin it at the top because you get um, people that just want to show you something you don't want to see. Yeah, I've had um, one of my lives infiltrated. Well, so this is my channel that I have now is actually as my my new second channel. So I started my original OG YouTube channel in 2008. And then two years ago, two and a half years ago, I've taken a break and I come back and I had my first live going through StreamYard. And it was last, no, it was two and a half Mays ago. And I invited somebody up because I they had been a subscriber to my channel for a while. And I thought it was them. I was talking to them in chat. But apparently someone cloned their photo. Oh, yep. And I didn't know that. And they cloned their avatar. And so when they were in the basement, I didn't know to look for a live person. So I clicked on them and added them to my stream. Oh. And it was a spammer. And they posted a porno photo for like three seconds. And I immediately removed it. And then they turned around and reported every one of my videos for pornography and youtube took down my channel <laughs> i was so bad oh, i like tried to, i tried to get back for like three months and so i created this channel and then three weeks well it was been, it's been about a month ago i come home and my channel was deleted again apparently someone had reported something and then i finally got somebody to look at it because i monetize and they realized it was a complete error. And so they went back and looked at my other channel and they were like, oh, we see that wasn't you. That was somebody else and that your live was hacked. And they reinstated that channel. So I got oh, all those videos back after two years of being completely deleted from YouTube, which is kind of crazy. But well, at least you got it back. Susan yeah. And I just wound up downloading everything and then kind of deleting that channel because the analytics and everything went crazy. You know, it hadn't had anything happen for two years. Right. But I really, there's a bee trying to get in. But I was, it was, really, yeah, lives can be a little uh, intimidating. So I understand. But I yeah, had one of my. We don't let anybody up until we see them. Yeah, that's, I know, and no one tells you about that when you start a channel. I didn't know that. So I had to have one of my lives on my new channel infiltrated. And they apparently were coming after somebody that was in my chat it's another youtube channel and it was crazy how fast they can get this bot program to create these fake people and just start yeah. typing stuff and you couldn't even whack them all fast enough like it was insane so yeah, now i know it's that bad it's just shut it down is the best thing to do and yeah i was able to block them and then i know now to go in and set it to subscriber mode only before right they can, and and i didn't know that before so it was definitely a learning curve Reels. Lisa, Lisa said her eye, her ears were burning. I was on a work call. Yes, they were. They should be burning. I was talking about you, girl. Oh, boy. <laughs> and Susan's at the specialist. Her right eye is not good. Can hardly see out of it. Oh, no. I hope that's um, you get a shot and it's okay. Oh, thank you, Rita. Let me play Rita a video.
And if anybody wants to know how I did that, uh, there's a app called Render Forest. And I just went in there and you just type in whatever and it changes it and it's free for so many of them. And that's how I make them. So. But I, I need to run, but I just want to say thank you for letting me come up and ask questions. I share this oh, out know. on Thanks my channel with um, information that if people want to get into or quitting, quilting and sewing to check this out because you get y'all both have given me, all of y'all given me a wealth of information to, to go dive into and get lost in for the next couple of days. But if you don't <laughs> see me, that's where I am. Thank you for sending me down the rabbit hole. And I hope to have something to show you that I've sewn. Oh, good. You're welcome to come back anytime. Thanks, Mona. Bye. Bye, Bye. Miss Deb. Miss Deb, what is, you. Your, what is your tag so I can tag you in my post, Deb? Mine? Hmm? Deb is the Pug Mama Quilter. Pug Mama, okay. All right. I'll get that fixed. Thank you again, ladies. Bye. All right. Thank you. She was very nice. I'm going to have to watch her channel more. Uh, Little Treasures by Nancy says she only shares my stream or link in a private group. That's what I do. Um, once in a while, I'll drop it in the chat. Hi, Pam. How are you? I just subscribed to Kim's channel. Oh, I got to. What was the name of her channel? Because I want to tag her in this video. I got it. Are you going to drop her link? Yep. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Donnell. But even when, yeah. Because if you drop it in the chat, you have to be careful because anybody could come up or pretend to be somebody. But I make them show me who they are. Yeah, she was very nice. Oh, Katie's a member. Woo! Oh, I must not be there yet. You're almost there. <laughs> As usual, I'm behind. Hi, Katie. Thanks for joining. I have a video for you. Thank you so much for joining. All right. Now I think I'm behind again. I got Not by much. Oh, okay. Oh, you're welcome. We enjoy helping people. You know, we're all in this same kind of boat. So. And no question is stupid. Right. Yes, Donnell Stitchery is a great channel and she's very helpful. Nice meeting you. Yes, it was nice meeting her. And she's saying hi to Deb for the channel drop. Isn't she yarning for Smile Yarntopia? Yeah. Okay, I've watched her channel. I'm pretty sure I'm already subscribed, but just to be sure, I'm going to write it down so I can make sure I get it. Maybe that's why I was couldn't find her for a while if her channel was taken down. Yarnatopia. I just did too, Donnell. Thanks, Homestead with D. Yes, any channels in in the chat, check out each other. And if you like what you see, subscribe because there's a lot of people, even if they're not in your a specific area yeah they don't have to be sewers and quilters you might enjoy what they do because i i like watching that magnet fishing because i think it's amazing what they find in these old dirty creeks and streams and stuff 
And Katie's saying, Yeah, I no, watched the Hoffbrothers no, and no the Farmers. Yeah. I've seen that, Katie. It's very pretty. Teresa's back. Hi, Teresa. Were your ears ringing? We were talking about you, too. Saying that you're a good channel to watch. As well as Little Treasures by Nancy and Greenland Quilter Katie's a good channel. So check all these people out. And it's 3 o'clock, so I think that's a good spot to end because I want to watch another channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I watched. Um, oh, I love this Duke Taurus. He's on every morning. He's up too early. I have to watch him on replay. Yes, but I told you you'd enjoy his channel, Lisa. So, oh, there goes Lawn Care. <laughs> Teresa says that's why my ears were ringing. Hi, Iris Sale Lady. Thank you. Hi, Linda. Did you come in or did I miss you? Hi, Shannon, my little homestead. Thanks for coming. If anybody wants to drop their link before I leave, put so or bags in the chat and it will drop it for you. I'll give you a couple minutes to do that. There's Teresa Louise's channel. Check her out. Drop your channel, Danielle, before you go. Same with Katie. Try, type so or bags. I had everybody in and then I would forget what I put them in. Oh, she was lurking. Well, thanks for lurking. Okay. Bye, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks for coming. Bye, Deb. Bye. Oh, wait. I'm going to wait until they drop uh, Donnell's link. There's Donnell's link. There's Jamie the Quilting Compound's link. Thank you, Tracy. Bye. Have a great day. I'm going to wait for uh, the Quilting Compound's link to drop. You might want to type that again, Jamie, because um, Teresa just dropped hers and it takes a second. That's why I um, did two different words. So I'm going to wait for Jamie to drop her link, unless she's already gone. Hi, Irene. We're just getting ready to go, but I'm glad you made it. Well, it didn't drop Paley's or Katie's. Come on, Nightbot, get busy. All right, there's the quilting compound. Katie, you're going to want to drop yours again. It didn't post for some reason. Maybe I can do it over here. Hi, Glenda. Bye. All right, let me go to her channel. Oh, I don't think I can copy and paste on this computer. Well, I can. I just don't know how. I got it. Okay, thanks. I can do it on my phone, but just not on the other. So, all right. Um, let me wait until it shows up. Did you put hers? You put I haven't link put in? yet. Where the heck did it go? Bye, Jean. Did it work? <laughs> Come on.
Did it work? Almost. <laughs> I got to get back to StreamYard. Here we go. Okay, Pam, we'll check it out. If you get a regular live schedule, let me know and I'll post it. And Katie, oh, there's uh, Greenland. That's Quilter. Katie's. I will add your link to the timer. Your link will get dropped at every live stream, whether you're here or not, now that you're a member. <laughs> yeah, you're having a trouble with the bot, but um, Deb dropped your link for you. So we're all good. Bye, everyone. <laughs>